Uh, I'm Rick. Uh, today uh, I'm going to do a video on the broccoli uh, with pizza on a grill. Um, what I've been trying to do is travel around doing uh, videos at different places. I've done one at my, my daughter's house and I've done one at my, uh, my house and now I'm doing one here in Lake Placid. I love Lake Placid. Great place. Um, I have some very good friends who live here. Um, Mark and, uh, and Sarah, they own a bookstore in Lake Placid called Bookstore Plus. They got it all. They got every kind of book you want. As a matter of fact, they won some kind of an award from uh, James Patterson, uh, the author who wanted to support the uh, small bookstores that promoted him. And they happened to be one of them, so uh, they got a grant to, from them to, uh, to redo the store. Still looked good before. It looks better now. Oh. Uh, it's, it's what a bookstore should be like. I mean, it's it's got all the books that you want. Uh, they do uh, on Sundays, uh, Saturdays, I think it is. Yeah, they have book readings. Uh, Sarah reads to the children, uh, and you know, less and less people are reading books. So, we need bookstores like this, and we need bookstores that support the town and and are involved, right? They have art supplies, stationery supplies. They got it all here. I mean, they seem to know exactly what they're doing. Hey, you know what? While I'm watering here, let me see if I can sneak in and see if they uh, really uh, find out if there really is a Mark and Sarah. Um, so let's see if I work my way there and we'll see what happens, okay? There really is a Mark and, and, and Sarah. They're really There's here. really a Mark and Sarah. Yeah, there really are people like that. <laughs> I didn't make them up. It's true. Uh, great bookstore, great people. <laughs> I loaded them up with food. There oh are. my goodness, we're still full. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Take care now. I wound up uh, doing a party that night, uh, which turned out fairly well. I made mussels. I had some people who said they never had mussels before. Okay. Uh, and they tried mine. They liked it. And I proceeded to tell them my story about when I was in Paris. And you, if you check my other videos out, you'll see that. Anyhow, uh, if you want a place to go to, Lake Placid. Summertime is great. And wintertime, too. I mean, if you're into skiing and all that other stuff. Uh, and uh, anyway, so what I'm doing is, is I'm cutting up this broccoli. Uh, you see, you can see this piece. I cut it down. And then what I'm going to do is fry them in, in the pan here. And right, you can see that. Okay. Actually, when, when I put this down, look, you can, you can actually see the, the water there. Lake Placid. Big lake. Let me tell you. Anyway, so I make this with uh, rigatoni and uh, sausage. Broccoli rabe with sausage works out really well. It's, it's a good dish. But today we're just going to do it on a pizza. I cook it like that. And then add some mozzarella, mozzarella cheese on top of it. Mozzarella, as they say, you know. And uh, go for that. Let me cut these up. And, and also your garlic. What you want to do with the garlic is you want to chop it up thick so you can have thicker pieces uh, when you fry it and then you have to remove it because you really don't want to leave the pizza with the garlic on it I mean you know I mean big pieces of garlic I mean garlic's great but it turns off a lot of people um, it reminds me of a, a friend of mine uh, Dave who just loved uh, garlic he thought garlic was great so uh, he actually he really was a friend of my wife's um, and the way I became friends with him, uh, she worked with him, and they had a Christmas party. And, uh, she got invited to the party. She said she wanted to come. I said, and "These are all the people you work with." And, you know, I, you know, I may say something stupid, and <laughs> and there goes the friendship with these people. You know, and also I'll be annoyed at people that you really don't particularly like. And you know, well, you know, most men want to defend their wives. Uh, oh, by the way, if you hear a lot of noise, I'm on the back uh, porch. Of, uh, bookstore plus you know there's restaurants all around and there's people sitting gathering to go eat and everybody gets excited and they talk loud and you know and I, whatever you know but if you look back there like you can actually see the water there and there were people swimming there before but uh, Lake Placid is growing like leaps and bounds um, it's amazing uh, they've been here I think uh, the family's been here over 30 35 40 years and this place is just booming people used to think it was just mainly for the winter but it turns out really great it's for uh, the summer i mean there's some great things going on here and, and they make it they promote it and they do a good job anyway 
Back to Dave. <laughs> oh, back to Dave. Okay. So she goes to the party, and she has a great time at the party. You know, it was like it was it was fun. But somehow, you know, it snowed, and Dave was got a little bit tipsy. So she is not going to let him drive home. Uh, so she piles him in the car. Dave's like six four and about two forty, whatever he is, somewhere like that. And she piles him into the car. She's not going to drive him, you know, drive him home. She, she said she's going to drive him to my house. She doesn't want him to drive. I said, okay. So here we go. My mother-in-law's over that night. And, you know, we're playing with the kids, you know, and I'm just kind of dozing off. I hear the doorbell ring. So I go there, and, and my wife, she says, I got David a car. I, I, I can't bring him in. You, you, I need your help. I said, what's he doing in your car? She said, well, he got drunk, and I didn't want, no, he wasn't drunk, but he was a little tipsy, and I didn't want him to drive. I said, okay. So I go in, out there to get him. I said, yeah, I guess he's a monster. What am I, you know, five, nine, maybe? Or depending if I stand on my toes, you know, something like that, anyway. So I get him, and I'm staggering him, he's just walking around. He gets into the house, and we have one of these hideaway beds down in the, the playroom. So when it was a flight of stairs, I said, I'm going to help him down. I can't hold him. I'll let him go when he, he falls down the flight of stairs. That's the second time a big guy fell down a flight of stairs with me. So then I go and I help him up. And I throw him on the couch. And I said, okay. And then open the couch or whatever I did. And he's going to sleep. He'll stay in and the sub was up tomorrow. I said, no way he's going to drive home. And, and it started to snow. And it started to snow hard. I said, I heck with it. So I said, all right. So I go off to bed. And about, I guess, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, I hear my mother look and, and my oh, wife laughing hysterical. I don't know what the heck's going on. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to get this uh, frying pan out here. Uh, it is cast iron. Because you put a cast iron in a grill, it's, it's no problem. But if you do cast iron and uh, you have a regular frying pan in the grill, it, it's so good. They are even selling, well, I have it already. Uh, the Weber uh, sells the, uh, the, the grill cast iron uh, pans that go with the barbecue. All right? So in the meantime, I'm throwing in some of this uh, garlic. Like I said, big pieces, right? I have that. And what are we going to do with it? We're going to put some oil in it. I'm going to put some, all right, olive oil. I know people tell me, well, you should use vegetable oil. I use what I got. You know I'm traveling, right? And I'm doing videos at different places. And, and I have this traveling kit. I take stuff with. I have a list of what I have to take. It just never ends, you know? Okay, anyway, here it is. All right, so we got it, huh? So, let's put it. Okay, so I, I turned the grill on. And I have, a, I have it setting in there. And anyway, so what happened is, is that we got... He's there, and I get him laughing. So I go downstairs to find out what's going on. And there's hysterical, holding a bucket. I said, well, what's going on? They said, well, Dave had to, had to go to the bathroom. We had to pee. And uh, <laughs> we couldn't know. He, no way he could get upstairs because he was making a lot of noise. And, and, and we both heard him, my mother, my mother and me. So my wife was telling me. I said, OK. So they came down <laughs> to help him. And, and we just couldn't do it, so my mother-in-law grabbed a bucket, and she said, okay, let him pee in the bucket. And, and he started peeing in the bucket, and, and uh, my wife was saying to my mother, look, don't, don't look, don't look. And all of us was a hole in the bucket, and he went all over the place. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I helped him and put him on, on the back end of bed and it's an hour later or something I hear a banging noise I go downstairs he had gotten up again and it, where the uh, playroom has a big fireplace in there and it has the, a raised hearth and he tripped over it and he hit his head and he was bleeding oh my god I said take the guy home right so I said you know what this is crazy I'm, I'm, I'm bringing him home and my wife says you're going to drive in this weather I said yeah I, you know, I got four wheel drive I don't care whatever so I carried him carrying him, I'm carrying him, I'm carrying him halfway, you know, I just, I'm exhausted, I get him, I throw him in the car, <laughs> and I drive him home, and I ring his doorbell, and this is like four o'clock in the morning, whatever it is, and she says, 
I knew he found somebody who would take care of him. She said, I don't worry about him. I said, well, what do you want me to do? She said, I'll leave him here. I said, you can't leave him. It's cold outside. She said, I. And so I helped him and threw him in the bed and then come home. The next morning, um, my son playing basketball. We got a basketball game going on. And we go to, you know, every, every Saturday or something. I don't want to figure out what day it is, Saturday or whatever. We go to the basketball game and we're watching. All of a sudden, we look, we see Dave walking in, and he's got this big bandage on his head, and he's struggling, and he said, I've gotten drunk so many times, nothing ever happens. I go to your house, I just World War Three. what happened to me? <laughs> I said, I don't know. <laughs> You're going to get me in a minute. Funny story. Anyway, so we got, we have that, so now let's take this, uh, this broccoli, which I to the, put on, onto the frying pan. I got it. I got one. Mix this up, man. Pepper? Actually, just a little. You know, you know my theory about putting pepper in a lot of things. People, they think it's, it's sand, you know what I mean? So, especially like an escrow. But practically, I, I get away with it. I don't trust some salt on it. I got the salt going, okay? Um, Let's do this garlic powder. Garlic powder in it. Uh -huh. Start some more. Okay, so it's pretty much uh, going good. So now we want to do is we want to get the uh, the dough ready. So now I take the strainer here, uh, set it aside, and bring up the dough, which I have on the side here. So take this strainer and put it in here, like so. All right. Have this dough and just let it sit. Um, we do have flies here too, like the rest of the world, but. Uh, yeah, but these are like plastic flies, you know. They're cooler. <laughs> no, no, it's really good. All right, so we got there. So let me take this uh, this here and uh, put them in like so. This way it drains. Uh, what I'll do is drain a lot of the oil, all right, because you, you want to put it on the, on the pizza, right? Uh, so let's just pull this out, right? You get most of this going. Yeah. All right. And we can set this guy here. All right. Uh, this here is going to, this is the one that comes with, with my Weber grill. Uh, cast iron. Uh, I made uh, Brussels sprouts in this and I did the, I roasted the peppers. And we roasted the peppers and I put the cover on them. It's like almost like bacon in an oven. So let me set it, hit it here on the side here and we'll see what happens. Okay. So, this, like so. Now, I got this guy. So what are we gonna do? Just keep stretching it, you know. It, it's big, uh, and it's good, you yeah? know. Now you could take a, a rolling pin and roll it out. Am I prepared or what? All right, got that rolling pin, huh? It's like pretty much almost elastic, like, so I really don't have much worry, worry about, you know. I can do the flip. Really? Let me try. No, really. <laughs> but it's fun. It's got to be fun. Look at this. Yeah, I'm making a pizza, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, go on, right? All right. All right. Where's my pan? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Hey, look at this. There it is. Um, I didn't really put anything underneath it. Sometimes you could, people will put oil on it. Yeah. The prints in here like this. Keeps it from rising, I guess, right? Yeah, so just press it in, all right? And press it to the side. I think Mark and Sarah went on hikes. Mark's one of these real unbelievable athletes. He's uh, he ran uh, Ironman. I mean, Ironman. You got to be kidding me. That's like what, fifty something miles on a bike, and you got to swim two and a half miles, and and you have to run twenty six miles. Great. All right. So just press in, like what I'm doing now. This will keep it from from rising, like with bubbles. You know, you know the bubbles that they get. So if you do that, that'll help, all right? 
All right, so it's it's so let's pick this guy. It's just sticking on. It. All right. Meanwhile, I can close this there, and that's going. All right. Uh, and again, uh, it's, it's nice. I mean, I can. I mean, you can you can see the water there. Actually, you see people on the boat. Yeah. Um, and you can see that. Uh, it's good. Good place. You know what? I look at blue water like that. It makes me thirsty. Oh, look at it. There's some people doing it. You know, standing up and, and rowing. That's cool. They love that. That's a fun thing to do. <laughs> I ain't doing it, but other than that, I think it's good. So this is going to cook up a few minutes. And you can see that it's kind of doing all, uh, doing all right. So uh, let's put some of this... Uh, broccoli rod on it and so let's just take these and just set them on All right. okay so as we just put this in here help it out a bit my favorite stuff anchovies All right. you know this is what I like let's open this sucker up and let's put some oil on it And what we need to do now is uh, some mozzarella cheese. And yeah, I'm kind of lazy today, so I just got this one. I bought this, you know, you can spread it. That looks pretty good, I think. So let it sit there, and I can probably move it. So it worked out really well. Okay, so it's pretty good. I have this uh, plate, uh, which I, it's called share. I found out what it meant. You're supposed to put a bunch of food on it and give it to somebody else, and then they use it, um, and they return it to you. I mean, I used it with my soft shell crabs and I didn't understand what the cord was. The cord's supposed to be there and when they get it, they're supposed to change it and put their ribbon in there. Oh, it's a ribbon, right? They, they put their ribbon in and they send it back to you. Not too much work. I don't like the platter. That's it. So I'm going to do that. I'm keeping this, all right? All right. Okay. Hey. That's pretty good, right? And you notice that's pretty clean. There's nothing on that. All right. There it is. Uh, it looks like it's ready. So, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Good, man. Okay, I got a feast here. Uh, you know what? I got to taste it. Good. Uh, good stuff, man. Uh, I got my uh, Zambuca here, and I put some Zambuca in my coffee. It says coffee. Uh, coffee cup. <laughs> I think it's Mark's. Well, anyway. Uh, so, great time, Lake Placid. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. As they say in Italian, Salute to Pichinda. Good luck for 100 years. Thank you.